In this video, you will learn how to use textures to drive material parameters in the Material Editor. You can use textures to drive color or scalar parameters in iRiff or Rhino. Typically, a parameter stays constant across the object. The roughness parameter is reflecting the light without any variation. However, in the real world, the appearance of an object changes across the surface. In iRef Rhino, you can use textures to drive the parameters of an object. The easiest way to drive a parameter is to simply drag and drop a texture from the Windows Explorer on the parameter that you would like to drive. Note that the surface looks much richer now and it's since it has a varying roughness. You can also change the results of the texture lookup by clicking the parameter and there we have now controls that allow us to, for example, invert the image or we could scale the brightness of the lookup and we see that the effect now for the reflection is scaled. If you want to go back using a constant value, click the triangle on the right and select Use Constant. Besides file textures, you can also use procedural noise textures that don't require a file on disk. To assign a procedural texture, choose Select Texture and switch over to the Library Textures tab and make sure that you select the Core Definitions folder. Now you see a list of available noise functions. Let's choose the Perlin Noise Texture. And right now we don't see too much of an effect. That's probably because we need to increase the tiling on our object. And now we see that we have now a subtle color variation on the object. You can use multiple textures to get an even more sophisticated look of the surface. So let's assign a texture to the roughness and the reflection weight. So again we pick our texture that we have been using for the roughness to add on top. And we pick another texture to drive the reflectivity of the surface using this parameter or oh, I don't like that one too much so let's choose that one and to top it off we can now use a texture to drive the surface normals so uh, we're assigning a texture here to the bumps and make sure to assign it as a bump map since it is a black and white texture and you see within a matter of few seconds we have created a very interesting result in a short amount of time If you want to learn more about our software, visit us at nvidia.com/iray.